What's up, Lotus Bloom friends and family? It's your boy, Mr. Ra. Today, you're about to witness another dope toy story featuring my gnomes and the king, Big Papa. Let's see what happens when the king goes to the house. Our story begins with the Big Papa and his trusted warrior walking through the deserts until he gets to the promised land of the little gnome home. I hope they did, man. It's a really terrible time in the kingdom. Oh, check out that little mushroom, man. These guys got it going on. It's popping over here. Good thing I got my Tims on for these sand, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yo, Nomi's. Nomi's my homies. What's going on, man? It's a terrible time. It's a terrible time in the kingdom. The gnomes came out to greet the king. There was the warrior. And inside the house, there was the majestic one. The elder came out. And tending to the herbs was our healer. They gathered around to hear what was going on with the king. The king was upset. Someone took all the toys in our village. The kingdom is without any toys and the boys and girls are miserable. They have nothing to do and nothing to play. Some folks came and stole it and we don't know what to do. Please help, please help. The gnomes got together and they started to think of a plan how they were gonna save the boys and girls with their toys. The eldest gnome had a hidden scroll in the house and he knew about it since ancient times that there was a buried treasure of toys somewhere hidden, but nobody was able to find it. King, there is a secret scroll. I shall fetch it for you. The gnome went into the home and he came out with the scroll in his hand. The elder opened the scroll. The elder took out the ancient scroll and slowly unraveled it. It was written in an ancient language only the wise gnome could read. He read it out loud to the group. Mama se mamosa mumakusa. Mama se mamosa mumakusa. Tip tap, wooda bap. And the papa, who didn't understand the language, said, Hey, homie, what does that mean? What does that mean, man? And the gnome said, We must visit the oracle, the oracle of the fountain. The falcon, wherever he may be, will teach us the way to find a buried treasure. See? There he is. We have to find this symbol somewhere in our land. Have you seen it? None of the gnomes had ever seen a falcon oracle before. But the protectorate of the king stepped up. King, I am aware of where this falcon oracle lives. It is beyond the brands, near the coast with jagged, rocked mountains. And on top of that mountain, you shall find this Falcon Oracle. I will accompany these wonderful gnomes on their quest. And together, we shall find this hidden treasure. So the five companions went on an expedition, an adventure on a quest to find the buried treasure and to seek the Council of the Oracle of the Falcon. The King's Protector escorted the four gnomes to a treacherous and dangerous mountainside, at the top of which stood the Oracle of the Falcon. 
five companions made it halfway up the dangerous hilltop, still making their way to the Falcon Oracle on top. And the quest was complete. The King's Guard walked up and made sure that the gnomes were able to make it up. They gathered around at the base of the Falcon Oracle. Slowly, one by one, they made it to the top. The eldest of the gnome, who could read the ancient language, came up, crawled up, and read the inscription. Below, in a distant desert area, you will find a buried treasure under the fire tree. Okay guys, I got it, I got it. The treasure is located under a fire tree in a desert. We must go to the desert. Warrior, do you know where the desert is? I do. I shall show you the way. Follow me. Down the hill they went. They made it to the beach side where the king's guard walked through the palm trees to what he thought was the fire tree. It's up here. This way. Follow me. He led the way, going through the hot, warm desert sands. The king's guard, who was brave and strong, decided, I will find this treasure. Underneath the tree, he lifted it up with his strength ugh, and started to dig. And dig and dig and dig and nothing. There's no treasure. Maybe the oracle was wrong. But the wise gnome knew the oracle never lies. There must be another tree. And then there was a smell of something burning in the wind. The wise man threw up some sand and found out that it was coming from the east. Look, yonder, that must be the tree of fire. They made it to the fire tree. It was smoking and hot and they knew this was the one. But the warrior didn't want to get burned. So he decided to take a bunch of sand and throw it on the fire to see if it would go out. And off it did. He started to bury and dig and dig. I see something over here. All the gnomes came by to help in the process of digging up the sand for what laid underneath. They dug and dug and dug, and together they lifted out the treasure. They gathered around to see what was gonna be inside. The wisest of them all came up and opened the chest. We found it! We found it! Now the boys and girls We'll have toys to play with this summer. Let's take it back to the king so he can bring it back to the kingdom. They closed the box and they went back to the gnome home where the king was waiting for them. The quest was now complete and they arrived at the gnome house where the king was waiting. The king's protector came in first. King, king, we have found what you were looking for. With the help of our gnome friends here, we have discovered the lost golden treasure toy chest. Look. And the king peeked over. Yeah, hey, hey. Now we got some toys for our kids in the kingdom. 
Look at all that. I got a toy train and some horses and all kinds of things for these kids to play with. That's dope, man. I appreciate it. And as a sign of my appreciation, I went out around here and got y'all some food because I know it's going to take some while. So check it. Check it. I got you some healthy carrots. You can eat those. It's good for your eyes. It's got vitamin K in it. And some apples. We also got a little bit of strawberries for you. And I got this nice soup that I have made for y'all. Let's feast. I appreciate y'all. The end. Beat it. Beat it. I know you about to eat the uh, walnut, dude. Actually, that'd be dope. <laughs>